Hey there, everyone. Hope you're keeping safe, keeping busy. I know we're all in different situations right now. I'm currently in Denmark. Can't go home to the Philippines. I don't know how long this lockdown. <laughs> yeah, okay. That was a really bad attempt at spoofing or when you saw Dalgo in a video. I tried to memorize all the lines, but yeah, that's not happening. Um, but the closest I could get is having plants in the background, having a three-day-old mustache. Um, I even found an Irwin Hinshaw shirt, uh, shirt. But anyway, um, we have two reasons for making this video today. Um, first is my friend Cholo made a request. And in this channel, we honor requests. Um, he commented, please make a Dalgona video. And since he's commented on pretty much every video I've made, I'm granting that request now. Um, so Cholo, this one is for you and for everyone else. Uh, please go to facebook.com and search search for Play Saturn with Cholo Camarlengo. Um, it'll be here on this space. Yeah, he is a streamer. So he streams games and he is very wholesome. He said Bukake 17 times only. That's pretty awesome. Um, and second request, uh, guys, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it really means a lot. Uh, but anyway, let's do this video, Erwan himself style. I only use Nescafe for my coffee. Nescafe, baka naman. Let's start off by first warming up some water and in a bowl mix 2 tablespoons of coffee, 2 tablespoons of sugar, and 2 tablespoons of hot water. Start whisking. Once the texture and the color has changed into the same one as the video, then you're done. But before that, regret every moment that you did not use a hand mixer to do the job. Put some ice in the glass, then add some milk, then you can add your coffee. You'll notice that if you don't add ice, the coffee will sink. So I suggest that you add some if you want to post something on Instagram. Try and style the coffee foam like those Instagram photos that you see. If it doesn't work, then you screwed something up. Try again. Let me try. How does it taste? It's very good. But it's yum. You need to try it again. Thank you. I'm courteous of my life. Mmm. It's good. I'm going to try it again. I'm courteous. Yum. And now for our non-coffee drinkers, we will make a matcha version of this. Simply mix one tablespoon of matcha and two tablespoons of warm milk. Whisk it together to combine just so there are no big bits of matcha. Some recipes use egg as a thickener but we don't want to eat raw egg so we used 70 grams of heavy cream for this one. I measured out a bit too much but that's okay. Simply mix that with your original matcha mixture. Once combined, you can add additional matcha powder to meet the matcha strength that you want. Whisk just to combine the ingredients, but don't worry about it too much. This time, you will use a hand mixer, which is something that we should have used on the other recipe. This will save you time and effort in fluffing up your matcha. You're going to want to hand mix it until it forms soft peaks. This way, the matcha can stand up on its own. So again, put in some ice, some milk, and put your matcha dalgona on top. So again, try to style like 
those Instagram Dalgonas that you see. If it doesn't work, then you screwed something up. After you're taking photos, you can put in a straw and proceed to give it to your loved one. In case you need some sort of favor like you want to go biking on the weekend or you need to buy a PS5. So this is probably gonna be bad, but I'll taste it anyway. Oh, it's a bit delayed, but yeah, it's a bit bitter. Try adding some sugar or just find some other recipe. <laughs> 